And in Seattle, you can no longer register for a COVID test at some sites. King 5's Vanessa Mashanya is live in Rainier Beach with more. So Vanessa, what do they plan to do with these sites? Yeah, Kayla, good morning. So the site here at Seward Park and Rainier Beach and then the one in West Seattle, you can no longer register for a COVID test at them. They're going to be transforming into vaccination sites. But even as this is happening and the focus kind of shifts towards vaccinations and away from getting a COVID test, health experts are still emphasizing how important it is to keep on testing. And testing is crucial, they say, because it's really how our state tracks COVID variants. The B1429 variant, that's commonly known as the California variant, and then the UK variant known as B117. They're spreading quickly here in Washington. They're even doubling every two weeks. So how we find them is through genotyping or looking for mutations in COVID tests. And it's work being done at a shoreline facility. State epidemiologist Scott Lindquist says this is important to understand how exactly the virus changes. I really, really strongly feel this is our future in public health outbreaks is to be able to genotype them. So the Biden administration is actually pumping a billion dollars nationwide to expand genotyping. And Washington is actually going to get about five million dollars of that next month. Of course, you can still get free COVID-19 tests in Seattle, the site at Aurora, the site in Soto, and the one at UW. They're still offering free COVID tests so you can register for those online. Live in Seattle this morning, Vanessa Mashania, King 5 News. Vanessa, thank you.